Okay, so today we are supposed to uh, finish up theoretical probability. So I'm calling this theoretical probability part two. And this involves the opposite of probability. We call it the complement of probability. So here's what we're going to do. We are supposed to find the probability of not landing on the number five, which would be the opposite of it landing on the number five or the complement of probability. The complement means the probability that it will not happen. So let's look at this. So I want to spin a seven-sided spinner and the arrow will not land on the number five. So I automatically know that there are seven outcomes. So my total number of outcomes is seven. That doesn't change. But now I've got to realize that this word not is here and I do not want it to land on the number five. So I don't want this. I do want any of these. So there are six that are not the number five because one, two, three, four, six, and seven are not the number five. So drawing any ticket except the one shown out of 25 total tickets. Well, if you've ever seen a roll of tickets, they're all numbered, they're all numbered differently. And I throw all the tickets into there. There are 25 total. This one only I don't want to draw. So that means I could draw 24 of the other tickets. So let's try again. A bag contains 11 black and 21 gray marbles. A marble is drawn at random. What is the theoretical probability of not drawing a gray marble? The probability that it is not the gray. So how many marbles are in the bag? Well, I've got to do an addition problem. 11 black and 21 gray. So to find the total number of marbles in the bag, I do an addition problem and I get 32. So there are 32 total number of marbles in the bag. How many of them are not gray? Well, there's only black and gray, so 11 are black. So 11 out of 32 are not gray. Okay, all right, let's look at the next one. Phil spins the spinner. Let me erase all of this. Phil spins the spinner that is divided into equal sections and he spins it one time. Determine the probability of the arrow landing on pink and its complement. So now, I want the probability that it does land on pink and its complement, which is the probability that it does not land on pink. Well, how many total sections are on the spinner? There's six. How many of them are pink? There's one. So one six is the probability that it will land on pink. The probability that it will not land on pink, well, there are six sections. How many of them are not pink? Well, there are five. So that is the complement to probability. Okay, now let's look at the next one and let me erase again. I don't know why that showed up again, but that's okay. All right, here we go. I want the probability that it will land on the letter C and its complement. So the probability that it will not land on the number C or letter C, not number. Okay, here we go. How many C's are there? There are two. And how many total number or letters are there? I can't tell my numbers and letters apart today. So two C's out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total. So it's two out of eight. Now, I would simplify that because two eighths is the same as one fourth, but we'll leave it like that for now. Then, what is the probability that it will not land on the letter C? Well, two of them are C's, so that means six of them are not. So
So that would be six out of eight, which could also simplify to three fourths. So there you have it. That's how to find the opposite of probability or the complement of probability.